today I'm going to show you how to create a parabolic antenna on HFSS including how to calculate the dimension of uh, all uh, his parameters then to have this uh, this result showing here in our in our first screen so I hope you enjoy this and uh, and after having this we gonna click here with the right button we're gonna see the solution type we have here driven model so we are gonna let it as it is then we're gonna go to the design properties here we're gonna create values that we're gonna need in our project so we need first of all to add frequency we're gonna work on 5.4 gigahertz then we're gonna create another uh, value which is uh, lambda we're gonna take c0 on frequency okay so we, we can we, we can see here the the value of the lambda then we click on ok uh, after we're gonna go to the modeler yeah, we're gonna go to modeler units yes it's uh, on millimeter so we're gonna let it as it is then we're gonna create a cylinder here we're going to here gonna click here So this is uh, our dipole, or our, uh, the, the thing that's gonna uh, resonate on the 5.4 frequency. So it's not gonna be a vacuum, but it's gonna be a metal, which we're gonna do it here. I'm gonna choose uh, search for pick. Yeah, okay. And transparency, we're gonna put 0.5. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna come here. Properties. Yeah. I'm gonna see we have zero, zero, zero. Then we, we're gonna work on the radius, which we're gonna choose 0 0.95 centimeter. Always, always, you, you have to write the units. Don't forget the units. Okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna choose the height, which is minus 1.5, also centimeter. Number of segments, we're gonna let it zero, so we don't have a problem here. Okay, after having this, I'm gonna make it small. So we could see it. Okay. So the next step is now is to create a second cylinder. It's the cylinder that we're gonna use for excitation. So I'm gonna go here. Mm, let's put it here. That's good. Because after we're gonna change uh, his parameters. Yeah. Now I'm going to here. properties yeah this is the the thing that we're gonna edit the properties so I'm gonna let here zero minus 0 0.9 centimeter yeah so radius I'm gonna click gonna choose four millimeter which is good for in our case here and the height will still minus 0 0.6 <coughs> okay so we're gonna check we got we have here four millimeter here 
centimeter and here one nine zero point nine yeah and number of segment we gonna let it zero okay uh, problem here mm -hmm. now we we have to see if we have the two cylinders in the same plane as you can see they are in the same plane so we're gonna stop here now we're gonna go on arch fss and we're gonna click on design setting or design properties yeah i'm gonna check these things mm. okay we have our notches here i'm gonna go to here mm. Results. Design properties. Yeah, as we can see, we have all here. So now we're gonna click on the first cylinder, and we're gonna click on Control C to copy it. Then Control V. Now, as we can see, we have the third cylinder. So this cylinder. We're gonna use it as the, the airspace when we're gonna simulate our results.